Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I'm out here at the Capitol building. Uh, you can see the protesters that have joined us. We're walking across the front of the Capitol building, back and forth. Uh, I have our free radiation glasses that nobody's actually wanted them. One of our people did. Maybe I should put them on. It's actually beginning to rain, but you know, we're in Oregon. So I'm covering up my head. Hi, let me give you a little bit of information. I'm sorry, I'm working. Well, let me hand it to you so that you can oh, get you. active. You know, today's the fourth anniversary of Fukushima. Four years of non-stop nuclear pollution into the Pacific Ocean. Three nuclear meltdowns, unfettered. There you go. That's what happens, YouTubers. Nobody wants to listen to it about radiation. They're too fucking busy. They're working. They're working. They don't care, because they're working. It doesn't matter. They think if they work, they're not going to get cancer. Or maybe their health insurance will pay for their cancer, or their kid's cancer, or will pay for the extra leg that comes out of their kid's chest, or the eye surgery their child needs when they're 10, or the diabetes that this person needs. I am going to attempt to give these people some information. Hi, I'd like to give you some information about Fukushima and how to get active in stopping it. Uh, we have had, like, now today marks the fourth year that we have had unmitigated nuclear pollution pouring into the Pacific Ocean. Oh, wow. That's did you know that? No, I did not. There are three nuclear power plants that are in full, complete meltdown, completely out of control, pouring into the Pacific Ocean. And so... We're going... <laughs> Go ahead. You don't have to talk to us. Thank you. Well, uh, what that information is about for you to take action, because it's going to take every person calling their representatives, putting pressure on them. We need them to like figure out a way to stop the bleeding hole in Japan instead of just letting it go, because it's seriously bad. It's going to kill humanity. We won't have any reason to go. Do you know that nuclear radiation? Well, you'll see. You guys can go. I put enough information in the flyers for you to get a basic idea. Oh, cool. And you can go to uh, our website at the Post Ignorance Project. Yeah, it's on the title. Nice. And you can get there some links and things. I'll warn you, my partner, Kevin Blanche is from Utah. He's got a rough mouth. He's kind of got a rough <laughs> style. So I'm just going to warn you. He was harsh for me to get used to. But he knows. He's, his dad was a nuclear veteran. Uh, and his dad basically died from leukemia. He got uh, leukemia. He is an AML. He's the first person that did an experimental thing on him three years ago. And now he just got cleared of having leukemia. Uh, so we're out in, in recognition of the four-year anniversary of Fukushima trying to get people... It's going to take all of us to put pressure because the government is trying to pretend like it's no big deal. Oh my goodness. They raised the radiation limits. Mm -hmm. They used to warn us when people got sick from radiation. They used to tell us when one in 10,000 person got cancer, they would say, oh my God, we have elevated radiation levels. You know how uh, now what they changed the limit to? It's in, uh, incomprehensible. One in 26. So that means when one in 26 persons gets cancer, then they're going to tell us. By the time one in 26 gets cancer, we're not going to, nobody's going to, I mean, we're not going to have animals left on the planet. <laughs> well, I still wonder what happened with that West Salem situation, like, a couple years back. What do you mean? What, what um, happened in West Salem? I don't know about there was, that. There like, two people that, like, died, like, within two weeks of the same thing, and then they couldn't explain it, and it was based oh, on some... Yeah, yeah. It was some radiation-based uh, really? thing that they had gotten, but they... Where did they get it, it from? The they didn't announce they, it. They did a CCTV thing on it, so it's probably like somewhere. Oh, I'll look, I'll look, yeah. because that's interesting. I, see, this is how it works. They bury all the nuclear yeah. stories. Yeah. He's from the Marshall Islands. Oh, okay. And it is really an, amazing, like, what happened. Do you know that our government poured 90... How many bombs did they put? 67 in 12 years. Oh. <laughs> they bombed the Marshall Islands with iodine-131. Was 63 billion rads. Like Chernobyl had something like, I don't know, what did it say? Two, 726 in Chernobyl. 63 billion. So even to this day, his people are still having birth defects and things like that. And that's what we need to stop. Like nuclear energy is probably a really good, the nuclear idea is not a terrible idea. We, what we need to do with the scientists recommended, the people who 
who invented it said, let's don't use it until we can understand it. Yeah. So what's happened is now they're, they're definitely, you know, they're, what they're doing is they are, I'm not recording them. I've got it backwards. I'm recording them. Oh. <laughs> so I've got it over here because I've been putting it in the street. I just realized. But what happened was the, the government basically, instead of doing that, because they can make so much money, and you know why they make money? This is a really dirty little secret about nuclear. Taxpayers pay for it. It's not like a private industry where it, it, it makes money. Uh -huh. So it, this is why it's super important. I, I honestly only found out about this two years ago. But I would say that, it especially her, because she's young, you know the young women? Young, what it does is it makes you sterile. It gives you endocrine problems. Um, you could get cancer in 10 years. Your child could get cancer. I mean, like, I have three grandchildren who live here in Salem, and it's the same issue. And my daughter kind of gets mad at me because I even talk about it. She doesn't want me to even think about it. Aww. But I think it's important for us to take action. Yeah. So I made these flyers, and because it's the fourth anniversary of Fukushima, I took the day off of work so I could come out here and protest. Because it's so important because people don't want to know about it, but it takes all of us to get a little just. This is what I do. I, I encourage this. I heard Carl Grossman, who's, a, who's been an anti-nuke activist for a super long time, I guess. I never heard about him until a couple years ago. He said, Fukushima is so severe. We need everybody. Whatever, think about it, learn about it, and then figure out what you can do. And everybody needs to do what they can do. And that's what I'm doing. I, I partnered up with Kevin Blanche. He invented the Post Ignorance Project. And really, it's about... You don't know what you don't know until you know you don't know it, right? Yeah. Like, now you can't unlearn knowing about Fukushima. <laughs> when you read the information in these flyers, you can't unknow the information. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, I and I gave you phone numbers and people uh, to contact, okay. elected officials, okay. so that you can... Cool. I don't know if Pete DeFazio is your senator and your congressperson in Salem, though, is he? Um, no, I don't know. Who's not? I don't think DeFazio, you guys are not part of Lane County. No. I should look it up because I put that on the flyer the next yeah. time because I didn't think about that till just now. Yeah. Bummer. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, well, if you, you call their me. office, they'll give okay. you your congressman's awesome. number. So okay, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank Have you. a good day. Bye bye. Yes, this is what's wrong with the anti-nuclear movement. Yes. Here we go. Okay, YouTubers, so that was me. I hope that that little conversation, I think I'm going to put it up even though most of it was probably pointed at that car over there. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to stop this thing because I'm carrying the flyers, this, my purse, and see there's our little bag of stuff over there, my coffee and my water. So anyways, ciao you guys.